how does a high-low hydraulic circuit works. Uh, the high-low circuit, basically what it does is the rapid advance, let's say, of a cylinder under low pressure, and then under high pressure, we want a lower speed or, or a lower advance of the cylinder, lower speed movement and speed of a cylinder. So we have a hydraulic cylinder and we have a directional control valve, three position four way. Uh, we're gonna drive it with an open center. So this port goes here, this one goes over here. We have a hydraulic valve, solenoid operated, the spring center. This is tank, goes to the reservoir, and this is the pressure line. So through this pressure line over here, uh, we need to have two different flows. Uh, one that is gonna be a high speed flow, and the other one that is gonna be a lower speed flow. So one flow, let's say 20 gallons per minute, and let's say the other one is gonna be 10 gallons per minute. So on a high-low system circuit, usually you have a double hydraulic pump. So you have one pump over here, and you have one pump over here. Now, these pumps are connected to each other. They're connected to each other, uh, but in the middle, you have a check valve. A check valve that allows a combination of flow going on in one direction, but not in the other direction. So let's say that's the combination over here. Let's say you have 10 GPM over here, and you have 10 GPM over here. Together, they are 20 GPM. But when you split it, you only have 10 and 10. So on one side of the pump system, uh, we're gonna draw a relief valve. So you have a relief valve on this side, over here. And let's say this relief valve is 2,000 PSI. Under this circumstance, you could, uh, you can, you can dump the 20 gallons per minute in this valve right there as it is. Open it up. You have a, a load over here. Once that load reaches the 2,000 PSI for movement. You can very well dump both of these flows over here. But then on a high-low system, what you want to do, you want to split that flow. So let's draw another relief valve over here. This particular relief valve, however, we're gonna say we're gonna say this one over here is 1000 psi. So you have 1000 PSI and this valve is going to unload the flow from this pump over here. Now at 1000 PSI, the flow of this pump unloads to the relief valve but then we're gonna pilot it from not from this line, not from the not from the from the pressure line of this pump, but it's going to come from this pressure line over here. So we we'll say pilot. Going to jump in, and it's going to come from the pressure line on the other side of the check valve. So now you have a thousand psi uh, pressure working under under one thousand psi. If you have pressure under one thousand psi. Uh, you have 10 GPM and you have another 10 GPM. Both of them are feeding the, the directional control valve. Uh, anything under 1,000 PSI. Once 
it hits a thousand psi this relief valve over here opens comes from this pilot line opens the relief valve and the the flow of one of the pumps gets dumped over here the second pump the flow cannot be dumped over over in the other direction because it has a check valve in the metal and the check valve does not allow flow going in the other direction it does not allow flow going this way it only allows flow going this way so at 1000 psi this the, the first pump dumps over here and now you only have 10 gpm feeding the directional control valve anything under a thousand psi both of these valves are, are the flow is co is, is uh, getting in combination because uh, there is there's nothing to relieve uh, the the flow of of in in of any of the pumps under a thousand psi the pumps keeps pumping into the system because there is no relief valve that is it under a thousand psi so there is no other option for the flow to go other than feed into the directional control valve hits a thousand psi one goes the other way and the other one keeps pumping it gets to a to, to 2000 psi now and at 2000 psi is the maximum pressure for the second for, for the second pump and now at 2000 psi on this side of the circuit it, it relieve the the second pump and anything going from 1000 to 2000 this one is still open because it's over a thousand psi so you're still pumping uh, uh, you're still dumping oil through both of those relief valves 2000 psi so this is what we have over here is a high low hydraulic circuit uh, high velocity high velocity at lower pressure and lower velocity at higher pressure this is what what a high low hydraulic circuit is now there's different ways on how to make it work it doesn't have to be this exact schematic over here but the idea is to split the flow often it has a check valve in the middle of, of two pumps uh, how are you going to relieve it is, is different ways on how to do it you can have pressure compensated pumps you can have a, a vented relief valve you, ha you can have a pressure switch you can have different different system integrated with uh, with some electrical circuits over here and and you can maybe save horsepower on the high, high pressure uh, right now this drawing over here are for two fixed displacement pumps uh, that are being relief with 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 uh with with uh, relief valves over here uh if you do this all the time if you maintain this pressure all the time uh, the system can can create more heat uh but uh, that's why there's different ways on how to do it and um and and also depends on the uh on how long you're gonna do it you know if it's only for a little bit that's okay if you want more uh, frequency uh, uh, of the operation more hours dur during the day you may want to put a uh, pressure compensated uh, re uh, pressure compensated pumps in here and so there's different ways on how to do it uh, but yes that is a high low hydraulic circuit uh, if you have any questions about hydraulics any questions about uh, industrial products you can always contact us and thank you very much for your for your attention and we'll see you next time bye bye